Hi everyone, Ben from Latitude Motorhomes here. Now we're looking at a Meridian 30. And if you want to see the full tour, head over to the YouTube channel. This video that I'm doing now is specifically to go into more detail on the power system that we've developed for this particular van. So generally you'll find the standard power setup on the Meridian is more than adequate with 480 hours of battery, nice big generator, over a thousand watts of solar, three kilowatt inverter. So that's the standard setup, very substantial. This customer, however, had some more requirements. So they came to us with experience from other motorhomes and caravans, where they were overloading the power point in the caravan park and went free camping, running things very low, very quickly. So they wanted to have us come up with a solution that would alleviate that. So what we did is we came up with a system that essentially floats the 240 volt power above the mains connection. So mains charges the battery and then the inverter supply the power inside. And we went for master volt for all the equipment. So battery size, we have the 12 kilowatt hours of battery in total, which is the same as around about a thousand amp hours at 12 volt. If you're comparing it to your 12 volt lithium setup, we have two four kilowatt inverters running in parallel. So eight kilowatts of inverter power in total. It's all controlled through the C-Zone touchscreens inside. So we had to use up a bit more space. They did want to delete the generator, so they deleted the generator. We've maximized the solar. So I've gone to just under 1.5 kilowatts of solar on the roof, which can run the air conditioning. So they'd have to sacrifice this storage locker here to fit some of this gear in. So with the power distribution. So they've got lots of mains power type appliances inside. So they've got a big induction cooktop. They've got the cooker, the induction, the barbecue. And they really wanted to be able to run all these things without really any worry. So you can see here the converter to go to 12 volt. C-zone control, all the fuses. And over here where the generator normally is, we've got the mains charger. So the mains charger can pull around 11 amps from the mains connection. Got your solar controller and your DC-DC charging. So that's all the hardware. And then if we look at the integration into the motorhome and the user interface, that's where this system really shines because it's very easy to use. So again, if you want to see this motorhome, go to the YouTube channel and see the full tour. So on the touch screen, maybe I'll go to this touch screen over here because it's glary. So on the touch screen, we've got you know, it's like season we've done before, but you turn things on and off, your battery levels. But we can actually have it here. I've got a, one of the favorites pages set up where I can very easily see all the charging sources and all the drawing loads over here. So it's very easy for a customer to see battery percentage. You can see there, time to go function. Well, at the moment it's charging. So at the current rate of charge, take about four hours to charge. We're sitting outside at the moment, so using a little bit of power through the inverter. So there's two inverters there, a little bit of power from the DC draw with lights and such. And we're producing around 32 amps of solar. So it's quite cloudy outside. Um, and this is a 24 volt system too. So that's the equivalent of around 62 to 64 amps. Um, we've seen this charge over 50 amps now at 24 volt. Just in testing. So lots of power coming in. The um, DC DC chargers will charge at around 50 amps in total. So plenty of power going in there as well. And the solar can quite easily keep up with the air conditioning on the roof and charge your battery as well. So we like that. And when you plug in the mains, you'll see the charging come in here. So from a consumer perspective, obviously they just want to be able to turn things on and off and have it all work. But part of the smarts going into it is sizing all of these things so that you know they don't have to worry about really at all whether they run the convection microwave the cooktop the dishwasher the air conditioners a kettle the outside barbecue they can pretty much run it all simultaneously and the battery will absorb the differences so where you would normally very easily overload the mains connection it'll take care of that and when they're free camping with the amount of solar they've got on the roof um, they might have to manage it a little bit closer than being plugged into mains but it'll pretty much look after itself. So again, nice and simple. So we part of what we do here 
with these screens we've actually programmed this to make it as easy as possible for the customer. There's some other nice features with this, like you can dim your lights and things like that, which is cool. See all your information, turn things on and off. There's an app for an iPad as well, so you can link all this to the iPad and see all the information there. But no, we love it. Ultimately, super high-end and lots of gear underneath, but very easy user interface in here. So super, super simple. And ultimately, you're just looking at these battery levels here and then you're absolutely fine. All right, guys, like I said, if you want to see the full tour of this van, head over to the YouTube channel. I might link it at the end of the video so you can go straight over and have a look. Um, yeah, all right, any questions, reach out. Um, and if you've got a build coming up with us and you want to discuss the power system, like I said, you'll probably find the standard setup is going to do everything you want it to do and more, but we've got the ability and the expertise here to go further if you want. All right, have a great day. Thank you.